Good morning to Dr. Jamila Binti Jama and all my friends. We are from Group 5. The title of the case study we would like to share today is Google Staff Workout Over Women's Treatments. I'm Tan Yong Xiang with a metric number 277758. They are my group members. Wang Shina 277314, Go Hui Chi 279182, Chan Xiu Hui 277873, and Gin Jia Sim 277352. Good day everyone, my name is Huang Xina. I would like to present the introduction. Communication is the most important key to the success of leadership. Effective leaders can remain calm and process during crises, minimize losers and keep the company running as normal as possible. The case study we will discuss is regarding Google employees work out in protest and how women are treated. This case will reveal the important role leaders play in crisis management and how Google can use their leadership skill to communicate effectively with employees, make the right decisions and develop alternative plans for during the crisis. Okay, so now I'm going to proceed with the background of the organization Google. Google was formed by Larry Page and Sir Gilbrint to market Google Search and has become the most often used internet company. In 1996, they collaborated with Scott Hazard and Alan Sternberg to develop Bedrock. After that, inspired by Bedrock, Brint and Page started working on Google. They set up a web server using cheap and rented PCs. The concept was successful and the Google search engine quickly became popular. Brin and Page registered on 4th September 1998. The chat given by Sun Microsystems co-founder Andy Vectorzyme also enabled them to raise $900,000 more for their first round of funding. Finally, with sufficient funds, Google opened its first office in Menlo Park, California. In 2015, Google reorganized its operations and personnel under the umbrella term Alphabet. Breen was appointed president of the recently founded parent company, with Larry Page serving as CEO. Sander Pai Chai was promoted to replace Breen at Google. Alphabet and its affiliates are frequently named amongst world's top 10 most powerful and important corporations. Sander Pai Chai is the well-known CEO of Google company since 2015 and also the board of director of Alphabet Incorporate since 2017. He born on 10th of June 1972 in Madurai, India. He began as a manager in Google company in year 2004 and he had created Google Tuba and Google Chrome. Then he led product and engineering for all the Google's products including uh, Google Search, Google Maps, Google Play and others which named it as Google Workplace in year 2014. In a 2018 Reputation Institute study, Sundar Pichai was awarded as the world's most prestigious CEO because of his responsibility, leadership in economics, community, and environmental responsibility. Based on the Google Workout case due to workplace sexual harassment issue, the main problem in leadership context is ineffective communication and management in the organization. From specific perspectives, management's unproductive response. Google CEO Sundar Pichai unsuccessful to provide meaningful and unambiguous feedback in a rapid, precise, and targeted manner, which regarding various sexual harassment cases that happen in Google and also the workout fields, which is the issue of giving compensation to Andy Rubin that accused of sexual harassment after leaving the firm to employees. This causes the workout incident gradually fermented and their lack of honesty and transparency hand the way also destroy his credibility as a leader. Next, inequitable punishments. Pichai and Google management choose to cover up the wrong party, Andy Rubin, who is a top executive and also the father of Android. Although Rubin was accused of sexual harassment, they still paid a $90 million leave payout to him to make the impact less severe, despite finding the allegation of sexual misbehavior against him believable and having no lawful responsibility to do so, just not to harm the long-term and intricate interests behind of the company. But this action did not take into account the victims' and employees' relations. Besides, they did not visibly and publicly disclose the case investigation progress or even the reason for this result, which is the importance of organizational justice for workplace sexual harassment issues to employees. 
Now I will explain for the part 5.0, decision making in leadership communication context. Video will show decision making abilities can make high quality, while informed decision from a variety of options. Other talents include in the leader are clear thinker section such as conceptual thinking, planning and organizing, and problem solving. First, layoff. From this sexual harassment incident, Sunda Pichai chose the railway solution to deal with the problems. As the leader of a large group organization, he must determine whether his choices will affect the key factors in the consequence of the judgment. To become a professional decision maker, someone must have a great analytical and interpretative abilities in order to identify concerns that must be handled and evaluated during the evaluation and development phases. After a series of investigations, he fires 48 employees, including 30 seniors and managers. This can be a testament to how much he values his employees as a leader and handles all problems effectively. Sundar Pichai also said they wanted to assure everyone that they would review every complaint of sexual harassment or misconduct and investigate and take action. Second, commitment to improving corporate management rigor. Sundar Pichai has assembled a professional team to handle each case of discrimination and sexual harassment. To aim at ensure maximum safety and respect for employees, the team will only investigate and report discrimination and sexual harassment reported by employees. In addition, following a series of sexual harassment episodes, Google has established a rush reporting mechanism for employees. Sundar Pichai as CEO also assures staff that would strengthen reporting processes for sexual harassment and assaults. This channel is likewise handled by a professional team and is available for reporting by any employee. Following that, the team will conduct additional investigation and act in response to employee complaints. Next, there is a strict prohibition on asepsis alcohol consumption during work hours because cases of sexual harassment continue to occur. Google has a clear policy against excessive alcohol consumption during work hours at any Google-related event or and Google business. Complaints of sexual harassment due to drinking alcohol accounts for 20% of the victims. Suta Pichai shows that Google takes it seriously. Furthermore, Google CEO made a new decision to regularly update top management. This means that if there, there are more any concern about sexual harassment within the department, manager can notify higher level manager at any time. Top manager will also keep track of current challenges each department is experiencing so they can take appropriate action and provide solution to solve the problem. Lastly, hire professional lawyers and provide case handling guidance. Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google, decided to employ a competent lawyer to help him with the situation, hiring a lawyer and explain the, what the employee needs to do to address the situation and ensure that the victim receives justice. Employees or victims will also be aware of what they should do to build their self-esteem and briefly defend themselves. Employees naturally feel safe and secure when they work in a safe and small phrase. Sunda Pichai as a leader opted to create the psychological secret environment for his followers by expressing an interest in their growth and well-being. Employees who feel safe in the workplace are better able to communicate with co-workers and perform high-quality assignments. It, it reduces the psychology well that provides the best outcomes, allowing the followers to converse their emotional and cognitive results to deal with the ethical dilemmas. In conclusion, every organization has problems from both internal and external parties. Leaders are important people in solving problems that arise in the organizations. Google has encountered some problems among employees and managers which has led to a collective shriek by employees around the world. Google CEO Sander Pichai took a series of action after the incident to resolve this problem. Leader of Google must always be more sensitive to what's happening within the organization to maintain its reputation, which can also make it easier for them to achieve their goals and perform better in the future. That's all of our group. Thank you.